me about the, the movie. How long did it take from beginning to end when they were following you around with cameras? They followed me around for like like two months mm -hmm. and like just got behind the scenes footage. But like they were able to like come back to my hometown and see what my friends. What is your hometown? Uh, Stratford, Ontario. It's like 30,000 people. You know, Paul is from a town called Thunder Bay. Thunder Bay. You know yeah. it, right? Yes, yeah. I know yeah. Thunder Bay. Yeah. Love Way them. up in northern Ontario, up Stratford there. is southern Ontario. Yeah. You have the Stratford Shakespeare Festival there. You it's do. a really cultured town he yeah. comes from. Yeah. Very high-minded culture there. <laughs> Again, thanks, Paul. Yes, yeah. anytime. All right. What? I like him a lot. We, we love Paul. Yeah. When, now, when you were uh, a kid living up there with your family, uh, musical influences, uh, can Canadian performers, American performers, what, what, what uh, motivated you to do this? Um, well, I grew up listening to a lot of Michael Jackson, um, a lot of Boys to Men, like a lot of like soul music. My mom listened to a lot of that, and like my dad. Who did, who did you like soul music was? Well, I liked like um, Stevie Wonder, mm -hmm. Boys to Men, mm -hmm. um, and like Usher. And did, and did you ever did you ever meet any of these people? Well, I, I'm signed to Usher, um, so I met him, and I met uh, I didn't get to meet Stevie yet. Mm -hmm. But I really, and I, did, I got to meet Boyz II Men. Did this all happen uh, because your mom put video of you on the... Uh... Yeah, we put the, put videos online and then, like, they kind of just spread, like, like rapid fire. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I got found by the ma my manager, Scooter, who introduced me to Usher and, and Justin Timberlake. And then we were going to sign with, with Justin, and then we ended up signing with Usher. Tell me uh, more about Scooter. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, <laughs> That, that's really, that's what, that's what me and my mom were thinking, like, this guy named Scooter wants to sign us, uh -huh. like, how professional could this exactly. really be? Exactly, yeah. But turns out he's got some, some credibility. Right. Is he an older guy? How old is Scooter? No, he's, at, he's, I mean, he's not old, he's not young, but he's like, he's like 30. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, he's gonna be mad. He's gonna be mad. He's he's 29. He's 29. gonna be mad if I say 30. 29 is okay. 30 is too old to be calling yourself Scooter. That's the cutoff. Come on, Scooter. But we're done. Do we have a, do we have a clip of a Never Say Never? Can we take? We a do. Um, actually, a part of the movie when we were filming it, I like I lost my voice, mm -hmm. and it was like really hard for me to sing, and uh, so I had, had to go through some struggles. So if this is a clip. Can you hear that? That's outside. Those girls are still screaming. But that's crazy. Yeah. You're, they, you're not even out there and they're screaming. I know. I don't know what's going on. Oh, my God. That's power, my friend. Thank you. Uh, is this a film in 3D? Uh, it is in 3D. Yeah. Okay. Go All right, roll it. Part where he loses his voice. What do you think is going on? In terms of keeping your voice where you should, not wasting it. I guess, like, I was home for a few days. So, okay. like, I was talking. But, like, I wasn't screaming. Hey, Ryan! Oh! That's how we do it! I mean, you have so much demand on your voice already. 86 shows is a whole lot of stuff to have to do. Uh, on anybody's voice. We're not talking about just you. You really kind of have to be more cautious when you do have downtime. Do the best job you can do. Okay. Have a good show. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna rock this show. How long was your voice uh, uh, off? Um, it was off for like a like a, a couple of days. Like my voice was like really like raspy. I didn't yeah. like singing. Have you, have you ever had that more than once? Um, no, just like twice. Actually. You, you, you got to be careful because, I mean, you, you, you're 16, and if this starts happening more and more, then it could be a problem later. So you really got to be, because I could tell you weren't really paying attention to what she said. No, I, I was. I was just like really, I was like emotional because my voice was gone. And I had to perform at Madison Square Garden. Yeah, but see, that's, you should, they shouldn't have sent you out there. Did you perform with your voice like that? Uh, yeah. Well, so you can't do that. But I had to. Well... I had, like, all my fans were waiting for me to perform, and it's like, I, I owe it to them. Oh, well, I admire, yes, I admire that.
But there's two ways to look at this. Uh, uh, one, you can do some permanent damage to your yeah. voice by doing that. And secondly, uh, fans, your adoring fans, leave saying, geez, what the hell was the matter with his voice? Yeah. You, you don't want that either. No. But at the same time... Yeah, you know what the problem they, they, is? I'll tell you what the problem is. Scooter! Scooter is the problem! <laughs> Justin Bieber, ladies and gentlemen, that's Never Say Never opens February 11th. Nice to see you. Great job. We'll be right back with Paulie Perez, ladies and gentlemen.